so I finished the install and I powered up the unit. I have a green light, status is green on the AIS unit, but I can't read or the AIS VHF works, that's a good sign. But um, I can't, the AIS is, I'm getting an error message, the AIS is off on the I-70. Um, but when I come in and disconnect the cable from the C-Talk backbone, I get an error message that the AIS signal's lost. So it's just something's not talking and the VHF radio is indicating no position data. So I have a little bit of troubleshooting to do. So um, I'm going to do some homework and uh, I'll let you know what I find out. All right, so not really sure where I left off on this, but it's basically like a week and a half, almost two weeks later, and I'm still trying to figure out how to get this AIS Super working. So VHF works, and what I, wanted, what I wanted to show you guys today is kind of how things were left. So I was trying to troubleshoot, and um, actually ended up getting Raymarine England on the line to discuss stuff. So uh, first I'm going to show you the Pro AIS 2 software and what it's telling me is going on. So let's do that first. So this is the Pro AIS 2 download um, and right here. So I've got, the, I've got the computer connected to the AIS via the USB micro cable. Um, I still have the antenna, the AIS GPS antenna right here in this cubby. Kind of a little chart table set up, if you can see. I got my binoculars there. Um, so let me show you what the diagnostics are. So if we click on diagnostics, actually, let's do connect first. I think we have to connect, connect. So they're just giving kind of ship's name, vessel, MMSI number, sailings, talking about the ship. So we go to diagnostics. And I got a couple red, oh, we'll see if these go green here in a second, but things are kind of checking out. Um, when I go to GNSS status, you can see I've got a fix, got a lat launch, satellites in view 21, it's using 13 of the 21. So, I mean, it's, it's working, right? It's picking up data, it's transmitting data, uh, let's go back to diagnostics. Still waiting for a uh, transmission of a report or an antenna. So I don't know if that has anything to do with... Um, I don't know why it's silent mode. Stop silent mode. Okay. Um, let's see if it's seen other vessels. So these are the pickups that it's gotten. Looks like it's picked some up. So I, I don't know, it's it's working. At least that's what I'm taking away from this. So let's go to step two. So step two in a nutshell was basically that I got Ray Marine on the phone, told him that it appears the AIS GPS antenna is working. It's got a green status light on it. It's picking up data, it's transmitting reports. See, actually right now it just changed over it's picking up and receiving a position report so it's it's green across the board but um my vha radio which is a ray i want to say it's like a ray 50 it's the one without the gps internal antenna um and my nav station my, not my nav station but the i i70 are not picking up uh any any data so they eventually told me that uh, the GPS antenna for the AIS unit cannot be shared by any other devices on the network. That the data it is receiving is solely for the use of the AIS module. And then in order to have GPS data for the vessel, I needed a separate GPS antenna. Um, and then between the GPS data for the vessel and the GPS data for the AIS unit, it would be able to establish relationships on position and display the appropriate information. So I bought another GPS antenna uh, from Raymarine and I'm going to hook it up today and show you what I got, see if it works. 
So here it is. This is the Raymarine. I want to say it's the RS150. And ta-da, I was right. Raymarine RS150 GPS antenna. Got it from my friends at the GPS store down in North Carolina. Gotta be honest, those guys have been great. Got some instructions, got some stickers, got a template or some kind of warranty document, gasket, and a cord, and fasteners. So the good news is this is a lot simpler to install than the AIS unit. Essentially, I can take this C-Talk cable, connect it to this antenna, and I should be able to plug it into one of the two open white ports on my C-Talk, and it should work. So. Uh, for now, I'm, since I'm getting such good reception on this antenna, I'm just going to set it right here, see if it works, and then still debating on the final mounting for these things. But uh, let's just see if we can get the AIS unit working today. All right. Stay tuned. Okay, so the good news is, is that took all of like five minutes to connect, and it is getting power off the backbone. So the instructions say that this uh, antenna is powered through the C-Talk system itself, and we are live. Solid green. All right, let's see what we got. Um, the nav station cover up and boom, I had GPS data on the VHF. So let's check that box. That's awesome. So first check on the I-70. We now officially have latitude and longitude. All right, we're gonna check some other menus out. Wow. So this is the AIS menu, and there it is, folks. Targets. Targets, targets, targets. It's gonna take me a little bit of, to figure out how everything works. But let's just pick one and see what we get here. All right, picked one here. We're gonna hit info. Got a sailing, got the MMSI number. So anyway, it, it looks like it's working. Um, AIS, uh, quick options, let's change the range. Wow, okay, so really kind of psyched here. So I'm gonna investigate this, but it appears it's working. Hooray, can't believe it. Okay, so Really all that's left is final positioning of the two GPS antennas that I now have, um, which I gotta be honest, I think is ridiculous. I think that a new brand, a brand new boat in 2018 should have come with a VHF unit that had a GPS antenna in it um, at a minimum so that I simply needed to apply for an MMSI number and then I have DSC and emergency calling with a GPS location. I mean, that's nuts. Anyway, so I need to find a place to locate these two. I got to get used to the I-70 alarming because Go it's... ahead, you have lifeguard seven or rescue boat. Lifeguard boat, head to the diversity. The I-70 gets alarmed like two or three times now since I got the AIS hey, let's working. Go ahead to the diversity. So I guess there's something going on at the beach. Anyway, exciting stuff. I got alarms out there. I got lifeguards in here and um, looks like we're good to go. So some closing thoughts, um, maybe later.